It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Monday, the 13th of February. I'm James Spann. A nice, cooler day today, but rain returns tomorrow night and Wednesday. Maybe some strong storms with that down across extreme south Alabama. And then after that, we'll be dry for the end of this week. Let's go in there and check things out this morning. An upper low located south of Phoenix. And as that lifts out, that will bring the chance of rain at midweek. And as advertised, it is cooler this morning. We saw highs in the 70s yesterday, but we've got mostly 40s this morning. Cold spot is Cullman at 39, Fort Payne 41, Birmingham at 44. The high today will be around 60, a little over 10 degrees cooler than yesterday. And around the nation is cold up north, but nothing I'd say excessively cold for late winter. Up on the watch warning map, still some winter weather problems up in the northeast United States. Winter storm warnings in effect there. That storm is winding down today. Blizzard warnings for parts of Maine with that very deep surface low. And then uh, to the west, we have winter storm warnings for much of New Mexico. That's with the feature that's south of Phoenix, and we'll sure watch that as it lifts out. Maybe some strong storms today over parts of southwest Texas, but of course we're dry. And then tomorrow, a marginal risk of severe weather up into parts of central Louisiana, south Mississippi, southwest Alabama, and the standard slight risk, as you can see, from Houston over to New Orleans and Pensacola. Uh, there's a closer look at the Alabama situation. And again, this is mainly for tomorrow night. Uh, the uh, standard slight risk from basically Mobile and Loxley down to Dauphin Island and Gulf Shores, southern Mobile, southern Baldwin counties. A marginal risk up to about Jackson, and uh, evergreen the areas in darker green and then the light green that's just the chance of some general thunder so we might hear some thunder late tomorrow night as far north as tuscaloosa birmingham and uh, roanoke but again no severe weather expected on our end of the state and then on day three which is wednesday we have a marginal risk of severe weather for south alabama this would include places like atmore andalusia dothan eufaula and again, maybe some thunder up this way, but severe weather not expected. And the severe weather placement will be determined by where the surface low winds up moving. We'll take a look at that in just a second. And the rain for the next seven days, found it through Monday of next week, really not that much, about one half inch. And the bulk of that will be tomorrow night and Wednesday. So, model fans, here we go, the GFS. This is the 06E run at noon today. You see the upper low that's southeast of Phoenix, but we are in a dry air mass. Should be a beautiful day today. Sunny with a high close to 60. Very nice. Tomorrow, the surface low is north of Houston in the piney woods of east Texas. Uh, the day here should be a day with increasingly cloudy conditions, but the day will likely be dry. We don't expect any rain tomorrow. And again, I'd say low 60s are likely. A little above average for this time of the year. Let's go to tomorrow night. You can see the short wave lifting out west of the state. The surface low should be somewhere over south Mississippi at midnight tomorrow night. And again, rain will be moving into the state after midnight tomorrow night. And then by Wednesday morning at 6 o'clock, the uh, broad surface low is over South Alabama, and we're, we're on the north side of the surface low. So again, I don't even know if we hear much thunder up here. Certainly no chance of any severe weather. Any severe weather should be confined to uh, the far southern part of Alabama. But clearly, our best chance of rain will come after midnight tomorrow night through about noon Wednesday. In fact, this is at noon Wednesday. The uh, surface low is on to the east, and things begin to wind down. Uh, and Wednesday should be a pretty cool day with a high only in the uh, uh, low 50s with clouds and rain ending during the morning. Thursday, a sunny day, and we should be below freezing to start the day. The low Thursday morning should be around 30. I'd say the high will be in the low 50s, so cool and dry. Uh, Friday, again, uh, temperatures near freezing to start the day, but the high should be in the low 60s. And the weekend, you ask. The uh, GFS depicting a surface low way down in the Gulf, and now, at this right, we'd be dry. There's a sliver of green here, but there's no really dynamic forcing. So at this point, we'll call it partly sunny with mid-60s. And Sunday looks dry with upper 60s. Should be a very nice day. Uh, so the bottom line is the weekend for now looking uh, dry and comfortable. Look at the anomalies on Sunday, and you can see temperatures above average for much of the central and eastern U.S., below average back in the southwest and western states. Go to Monday, a new trough to the west. A surface low is moving northeast of Denver with 
rain and storms around the Arklatex. And then this is Tuesday of next week, the 21st. That could be a pretty active day if this were to verify. The GFS depicting a deep surface load that's located near El Dorado, Arkansas, 1,000 millibars. And if that's right, that would be wet and stormy a week from tomorrow. And this is uh, Wednesday of next week, the 22nd, kind of broad troughing around, but that system begins to lift out. Check the numbers. Coolest day among the next 15, maybe uh, Wednesday of this week with a high of 52. You can see that warm up over the weekend with 60s, upper 60s by Sunday, a chance we touch 70 early next week, and then numbers back off a bit later in the month, but no sign of any brutally cold Arctic air for the rest of the month of February. But I caution you, we always... Have cold snaps in March and April. Don't put away the winter clothes. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or on TV, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.